Good morning, guys. As you can tell by my sweatshirt, it is significantly cooler here today. But you can also tell from the driveway or the walkway, we're starting to dry out. I think because it had had a chance to dry out a little bit and we were more or less dry, um, there was room in the ground for the water to go. So we have a really busy next couple days. We've got friends coming over, we've got tons of stuff to do, activities going on. Um, I think we've got a rocket launch tomorrow, baseball tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of stuff going on. Uh, I will take you guys along as much as possible. I hope you guys join us. And I'm heading out to milk a cow right now. We need some feed for the animals. So little buddy and I are gonna go, right, yeah. Coleman? Say, we're going to get some food. Yep, we're going to get some food. Hey guys, so we are just leaving Tractor Supply. We got our food at the food store, and then I've got a $10 off coupon. Where all I have to do is spend $10, so it's free 10 bucks at Tractor Supply. So I figured I'd stop by and see what they had. And you can even use it on clearance. They didn't have anything I was interested in. The other hope I had was that they had some Khaki Campbell ducks on clearance, but they don't. They don't have any of their birds on clearance right now. Apparently they are kind of winding down on their chickens and ducks. Uh, it's going to be done by the end of this week and then they're not gonna be getting any more. But in June, they're gonna be getting turkeys. And I forgot to order turkeys this year. So the fact that they're gonna have turkeys makes me very happy because I can just get some turkeys from here. So that's good news. Hey guys, we are at Costco. Gotta order some glasses for Homestead Boy 2 and grab some other staple type stuff. I love this place. Although I don't love it quite so much when it's busy, which is why we try to come on a weekday. This is how we roll at Costco. With the weather getting nicer, it would be nice to have the use of that, the golf cart right there. So um, my dad is on his way home. I have not wanted to try to put it in myself. Um, I don't have as much technical knowledge as my dad does. So he's on his way home from their place. Uh, he's gonna stop by and help me hopefully just get that in today and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna clear out some space, move this mower here and some other stuff from over on that side so we've got plenty of room to work. Okay, so golf cart, we got plenty of space over on this side. I got my welding table out, which is really sturdy. Put some cardboard on top of it from, uh, these are just boxes from our diaper delivery. There's the uh, welding table. This will protect the metal a little bit. Uh, so he can work on that table or we can work on that table. There's the engine itself. Got all our tools out here. And then I've got my tool chest here. Um, and we got plenty of room on both sides to get in and out. So we should be ready to go. I'm taking a quick break from putting the engine in the golf cart to go milk. Um, apparently Homestead Boy 3 wants Dad to come put him to sleep. Uh, we're getting close to having the engine put back together. 
but as in football, it seems like those last five to 10 yards are the hardest. So uh, hopefully we can get it done tonight. If not, we'll try to button it up tomorrow. Uh, I will see you guys in the comments. Don't forget to give sign up for the knife giveaway, the 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I will put a link right up here. Have a great one, guys.